on the world? I mean, days are difficult. I mean, it's the old cliche, you have your good days and your bad days, but it's so true. Mm. You know, you can wake up in the morning and open your eyes and go, today's not going to be a good day. You just know. Um, well, I just wanted to say, Ryan, my primary reason for being here... Yeah, tell us what's your primary reason for being um, here. The differences in our cases, although they're very similar, there was massive differences. Mm -hmm. um, when Gavin was transferred to Newcastle, um, we were handed a piece of paper and we were told to go and book our flights. So our son was being put on a plane. And, I mean, our life is in turmoil at that stage. All we wanted to do was be with him. We had no concern for anything else. So we couldn't get a flight out to Newcastle till 10 o'clock that evening. You think there should be a system, do you, that says Absolutely. sick child, knocking on it's death's a package. door, sort it out? It's a package. A child comes with a, a package, and the package is that family. Mm. Yeah, and it makes a lot we of need, sense. We need, I think we need somebody in the hospital that's able to take all that stress away. Yes. Mm. I mean, when Gavin passed away, we didn't know how we were going to get him home. Yeah. And I asked in Newcastle, I said, you know, how am I going to get my son's body home? And they said, I'm really sorry, we don't know. That's just too horrible for, yeah, for words. And, and also, yes. I rang Crumlin and they said the same, we're really sorry, we don't know. It's not written in the, in the rule book. No. Therefore, there's nothing they can and do. And unfortunately, if a child has a transplant, is lucky enough to get a transplant in the UK, they travel back with their parents when they're, they're doing well. When Gavin's body was released, he had to have a post-mortem. And as you know, in the UK, these can take time. I had some gruesome conversations, like some very graphic mm. conversations with the coroner. Yeah. Because we knew it was going to take a, lot, a long time. And I have to say, they worked. They were fantastic. They got it done in 10 days. Okay. Okay. So we got a call that morning, and we, said, we were told that Gavin's body was going to be released. And luckily enough, the funeral directors were able to sort out everything, but there was forms we needed to fill in, yeah. repatriation forms and so on. So my son's body was put on a ship and he landed in Belfast. But as he was being put on the ship, we were told, OK, make your own way home. That's just simply not good enough. Okay. It's actually embarrassing. It is embarrassing, and, and clearly there's something wrong yeah. uh, with, with, with the system, and, a, and uh, th that allows something for we that to happen to your family. We found massive holes in the system. 